identification of U.S. military forces ready to join hands in Ukraine. After Russia opened fire and seized three Ukrainian Navy ships and all its crew, tensions in the waters near the Crimea became hotter. Although Ukraine is not a member of NATO, many Western nations have issued a statement condemning Russia's actions. There is no excuse for Russia's use of troops against Ukrainian ships and sailors. We call on Russia to release the sailors and Ukrainian ships they have captured immediately, a NATO statement said. The possibility of fighting between the United States and Russia is almost impossible, but in the event of an armed conflict, the United States has a powerful force in Eastern Europe and the Black Sea may be ready to respond. Infantry in Ukraine, the 278th Armored Cavalry Regiment of the Tennessee State Guard has soldiers on duty at the Yavoriv Fighting Training Center, like the Fort Polk Centers in Louisiana, Fort Irwin in California, and Hohenface in Germany. The center is set up to help combat troops be ready to fight. In addition, the U.S. Army also has an armored personnel force deployed alternately in Eastern Europe, coordinating operations with other countries in the region to conduct exercises. Specifically, the 1st Brigade Combat Team of the 1st Cavalry Brigade will soon complete its mission and will be replaced by the 1st Brigade of the 1st Infantry Division. They will be the 4th Combat Aviation Brigade of the 4th Infantry Division. Maritime Forces American Marines have a relatively thin presence in the Black Sea. Marine groups operating here are members of the Black Sea Rotation Force. A group of several hundred U.S. Marines and sailors engaged in joint exercises in the area. Despite its small size, the presence of U.S. Marines in the Black Sea was an effective defense against any aggression. With high maneuverability, U.S. Marines in the Black Sea operate everywhere in the area and help train local soldiers to improve security. From July to September this year, the Marines began three training sessions with soldiers from Ukraine, Romania and Georgia. One of them was the Sea Breeze exercise in Ukraine, which involved about 50 Marines. This activity involved heavy armored vehicles and has caused Russia to express grievances. These military operations are taking place close to the conflict zone in southeastern Ukraine, where troops continue firing on the cities of the Donbass every day. Although a ceasefire was announced on the first, seven, Russian Foreign Ministry spokesman Maria Zaharova said, such military demonstrations will not help stabilize the situation in the region. Air Force the U.S. Air Force has also held remarkable military maneuvers in Ukraine this year. Since 1993, the California State Guard has cooperated with Ukraine under a State Department program whereby every year U.S. pilots will be dispatched to the country to conduct training. Recently, the U.S. Air Force completed the Clear Sky 2018 maneuver, which involved the United States, Ukraine and many other countries in October. This is the largest aerial maneuvers in Eastern Europe ever, said Lt. Col. Robert Swartbaker, Program Director. The exercise will enhance the ability of the California Air Force and the Ukrainian Air Force to coordinate military support operations, network protection campaigns and regional security assertion activities. God. The U.S. Air Force also has a number of aircraft operating in Europe to spy on and protect the air space over NATO airspace. Currently, the MQ-9 Reaper continues to take off from Mirosławic base in Poland to conduct reconnaissance from May to present. The U.S. Air Force in Europe continues to carry out exercises with its allies and partners in the region, but we have not had any U.S. pilots in Ukraine, one spokesman for the U.S. Air Force in Europe. Navy U.S. No. 6 Squadron is stationed in Naples, Italy, although it does not have a permanent presence in the Black Sea, but instead takes ships and support vessels to the area. In the summer of 2017, the Ticonderoga-class battleship Hugh City and the Ukrainian Navy's Balto warship were conducting sea search exercises within the framework of the Sea Breeze exercises. 
In the past 12 months, warships named James E. Williams, Kearney, Ross and Porter have all been active in the Black Sea. These ships have stopped in Bulgaria and Romania in support of the Operation Atlantic Resolve exercise conducted to enhance NATO defense capabilities in the Black Sea. The Harper's fleet, named Oak Hill, and the 26th Marines went through the Dardanelles Strait on March 7 to carry out a joint exercise called the Spring Storm. On May 9, a group of U.S. Navy Patrol Navy No. 10 deployed the P-8A Poseidon Reconnaissance Aircraft to participate in the NATO Sea Shield exercise. On July 7, the No. 6 Squadron's Mount Whitney aboard entered the Black Sea to participate in the Sea Breeze exercise with Ukraine and conducted various combat exercises. A month later, a transport ship named Carson City arrived in Constanza, Romania, where they dropped Bravo Company from the 2nd Battalion, 5th Cavalry Regiment of the U.S. Army. The ship then brought troops and military equipment from the city of Poti, Georgia, back to Romania. Tensions between the United States and Russia often take place in the sky. On January 29 this year, a Russian Su-27 fighter jets an EP-3 Ares reconnaissance aircraft in international waters on the Black Sea. According to the Pentagon, the incident became unsafe when the Russian aircraft approached only 1.5 meters from the U.S. plane and flew into the plane's flight. On November 5, a similar incident occurred. A video of the Pentagon's announcement that a Su-27 aircraft in the starboard section of an Ares EP-3 aircraft was tilted to the right, unexpectedly launching Russian planes and forcing U.S. aircraft to fly in smoke exhaust.